Hello and welcome to this short demonstration of the LSO rig from the AutoRig Pro Rig Library Blender add-on. This rig is part of a library of 24 animal rigs which can be bought at Blender Market. It's important to note that the AutoRig Pro Rig Library is specifically built for the AutoRig Pro rigging system, so you need to have bought that add-on for the rig library to work. Each of the 24 rigs comes with a locomotion animation, and in the case of this LSO, that's a walk cycle. Let me show you that from multiple angles. And just as a side note, I've animated this walk cycle on 30 FPS and not on 24 because I wanted the uh, LSO rig and its animations to be game engine compatible. So that's why I did that. Cool, okay, so let's get back to the main features uh, of the rig. Uh, and the main purpose of the rig is to act as a template that you can use to rig your own 3D models. So if you have any type of creature model with a similar anatomy to that of, a, of an allosaur, you will be able to rig that model uh, using this template rig. So I can imagine that if you have like a T-Rex or a raptor model, you would still be able to rig that using this uh, allosaur rig. Cool. Um, something else is, is that the rig comes with this block mesh and uh, the function of the block mesh is uh, to act as a visual guide for the placement of the bones within your own uh, uh, model so if you have no use for it you can simply delete it there's no there's no harm in that but it's just something that i've added to make the placement of the bones of this rig within your own 3d model a little bit easier okay um let me turn the rig back on and let's just go through the main controllers uh, of the rig uh, here we have the position controller that's for positioning the rig within your scene here we have the trajectory controller, so you can animate a certain type of trajectory for the rig. We have a root master controller that controls both the upper and lower body. We have a root controller that only controls the lower body, so you can use that to animate a hip sway, for example. Uh, we have this tail master controller, which lets you uh, animate all the tail bones at once, so that's nice. And uh, a similar, we have uh, in a similar fashion, we have this uh, spine mass controller, which lets you animate all the spine bones at once. Um, then we have the head controller, and if I open up the tool tab, you can see that it comes with this head lock property. Let me show you what that does. So if I uh, select the neck bone and I move it around, you can see that the orientation of the head follows the neck. Uh, but if I toggle the headlock, like so, and I do it again, you can see that the orientation of the head keeps facing forward. So that's nice. Uh, cool. Okay, on to the legs. The legs by default are in IK mode, but we can easily switch to FK. As you can see, let's switch back to IK. Um, furthermore, we have this auto stretch feature. So let me turn that on. And when I now move the leg beyond its limit, you can see that the leg uh, gets stretched. So uh, you can use that for some cartoony animation, for example. Uh, we have a tie twist, which is there to correct some deformation uh, in the ties. Uh, and we have a knee pinning. So here we have the knee and you can see that if I move the leg around you can see that the knee follows but when i turn on knee pinning and i do it again you can see that the knee is locked into place so uh, that's knee pinning um, there's some foot controls here we have the toe controller that lets you control all the toe bones at once we have a foot controller uh, so you can uh, animate the ankle and we have this foot roll controller if you move it upwards and downwards you can animate a foot roll and if you move it side to side you can animate some banking of the foot so that's cool um, okay let's go to the arms um, by default the arms are in uh, are in uh, fk mode as you can see but we can easily also switch that to IK. Here we go. Now it's an IK arm. 
Um, we also have auto stretching on the arms. So let me turn that on to show you. So if I now move the arm beyond its limit, you can see that the arm gets stretched for some cartoony effects. Let's turn that off again. There's an arm twist to correct any deformation in the arm. And we have uh, elbow pinning. So here's the elbow. And if I move the arm, you can see that the elbow follows. But if I turn on elbow pinning, you can see that the elbow stays in place. Cool, let's turn that off again. Um, and finally, we have uh, some finger grasping. So it's sort of obvious what it does, but let me show you. It's, it controls the grasping feature for all the fingers at once. Okay, cool. I think I've covered all the main features of this LSO rig from the Autorig Pro rig library, but if uh, yeah, if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact me on Blender Market. I'm always happy to help, but uh, thank you for watching.